surface area of right prisms. Now, if you're wondering what surface area is, if we look at this rectangular prism in example one, surface area is the area on the outside of the shape. And this is really useful for someone such as a painter, because a painter might come along and they need to paint the outside of some rectangular prism shaped object. And by calculating the surface area, they can actually figure out exactly how much paint they need to cover the object. All right, now there is no straightforward way of, or, or straightforward formula that you can use to calculate the surface area of objects, uh, except a couple. Okay, so for the prism below, the best way to do this is just to break it up into all its different shapes. For instance, if I look on the right side of the shape, I've got a rectangle here. And let's just draw it separately. So we'll draw a rectangle. And we'll call it number one, which means that we should be calling this one number one. Oops. This is number one. And we'll label the sides as 11 and 9 millimeters. All right, so that's the right side. Let's also look at the top. Oops, there we go. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find my pen sometimes. So here's the top of my prism. And we'll call that shape 2. Um, so we've got the second rectangle, rectangle 2. And this one has sides of 22 and 11, because the 22s match up and the 11s match up. All right, so 22 millimeters and 11 millimeters. The third rectangle we can see is right at the front. Um, here, and we'll call that shape 3. Or rectangle 3. And that one is 22 millimeters and it's got a 9 millimeter height here. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> that is three of the rectangles on the shape. There's another three that are hidden behind that we can't see in the picture. But if you look at these rectangles, this rectangle on the right, rectangle number one, there's a rectangle exactly the same on the left side. There's actually two of these. So we'll write that here, times two. There's two rectangles like this. The rectangle at the top, rectangle number two, is exactly the same as the rectangle on the base. So that's times two. And the rectangle at the front is exactly the same as the rectangle at the back. So for these three rectangles, there, there are actually two of each. And that gives us all the different rectangles because altogether, there are six rectangles on a rectangular prism. So what we're going to do is we'll find the area of each. So we go A1, which is 11 times 9. This is just this rectangle, 11 times 9, or 99 millimeters squared. A2 for rectangle 2, which is a 22 by 11. 22 times 11, uh, which comes out to 242 millimeters squared. And then the last one, rectangle 3, is 22 by 9. Which is 198 millimeters squared. So when we want to find the surface area, we've got to add these all up. So area 1 was 99, and there's two of them. So we've got to add 99 twice. Area 2 was 242, and we said there were two of these. So we've got to add it up twice. And area 3 was 198, and we said there were two rectangles like this. And if we add all of these up, we'll get our total area. So let's do this. I get 1,078 millimeters squared.